Hello YouTube, I'm Dakota and welcome to Bowtide Media and today we've got a brand new review of the brand new EP from Whipped Cream, Someone You Can Count On. This is a brand new EP from singer, songwriter, producer, DJ Caroline Cecil, better known as Whipped Cream. Having been producing under this alias for just under a decade now, uh, Whipped Cream has explored a variety of sounds and genres, opting not to stay in one place for too long. With four singles having touched down across the last year, this full-length project had a fair amount of anticipation leading up to its release. Whipped Cream's style, tonality, and branding has been a little all over the place as of recent to kind of constantly keep you guessing about what's coming next. Keeping with that theme, this EP is a real smorgasbord of sound making for a genre soup of sorts. Of everything I've listened to in this past couple years, I would say this is by far the least bogged down by a single genre project that I've heard. While keeping a dark tonality throughout the runtime of the project, this EP is truly a fusion of genres. But as these singles were being released across the past year, I felt like I was receiving mixed signals. Some tracks I loved pretty much instantly, others I felt were lacking, and some just had some odd accompanying visuals. So let's go through the track list in order and give my thoughts on each track. The Dark with Josiah and Crimson Child kicks off the track list and is both the first song and the final single to be released beforehand. Right off the bat, this is undoubtedly the best song on the record. This has the best production, sound design, song structure, and features I have heard on a whipped cream track to date. Leading with Crimson Child's eerie piano melody only to explode into a grandioso operatic chorus from Josiah. Oh man, both those serve as just the backbone for this track. All wrapped together with that darkened production from Whipped Cream that really brings the whole thing together. Sonically, everything is quite complementary of one another on this track, from the vocals to the sound design to the production to the tonality, everything works together so marvelously. I think this is truly one of, if not the best, Whipped Cream track yet. Angels is next on the track list and feels like it kind of laid the groundwork for this newer modern sound of Whipped Cream. Backing up her own vocals with subtle claps and a minimalistic verse section, the production comes in hard and fast for the drops. The drops here also rely on a kind of wailing synth for its melody that gives the song a sense of urgency as well as danger. Lyrically, I don't think it's something to really overanalyze. It's just kind of the simple motto said time and time again of the angels cry just like I do. Be Here La 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 with The Duchess is the third track and the one I found to be personally the weakest from the record. Again, keeping with that dark tonality, this time the drops just tend to feel a little bit more empty and a little outdated. The heart pounding jagged bass line does properly give off a sense and feeling of uneasiness, but is mixed in a way that makes it feel a little too hollow. And I definitely could have gone without the kind of la 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 parts of the song. I definitely think it brings a sort of silliness to the track that is sonically aimed in an entirely different direction than where the, I think, production and sound design is trying to go. Sometimes I think two opposing motifs can work in a sense and come together and kind of add a back and forth dissonance, but uh, this one just, I don't think worked for me. Cry is the fourth track and the first single to be released. Comparatively to the rest of the EP, this one just feels a little less lackluster. It's got that same relatively linear, murky sound design that the tracks had prior, just without a real kind of X factor that tracks before it had, like uh, Josiah's vocals on The Dark. Having already heard what I believe to be the best track on the EP, this one just feels like there is just something missing. All things considered, it's hard to find anything about this track that wasn't already covered by already the first three songs in the project. While a stronger track than previously, Rewind But I Love You also offers not much of a switch up in song structure or core sound. That being said, the transition from the verse to the drop is one of my favorite sections. The elevating, suspenseful lead-in to just cut it out and let the reverb kind of huh, and fade, and then soloing that vocal chant of but I love you. You, 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 and then the bass line follows right behind. It is, oh, it is so nice. It's a section that I think really highlights the importance of letting off the gas a little bit on a track and letting it just breathe. Friends is the penultimate track of the record and is in a way the most underwhelming. Leaning more closely into future bass with its core synth sound that feels like it's being driven through a high pass filter of sorts, this track is stylistically unlike anything else on the record. And while the lyrics do feel a little cheesy at times, it's generally fine. This track definitely does feel like a product of a bygone era though. It feels like it could be right in tune with the kind of 2016, 2017 future bass sound. That being said though, I do and really did like that era, and so this track is semi-nostalgic for me. And the final track is also the title track and is an odd one. It's not quite an outro track and not quite a full single. It's sort of this weird in-between that just exists to sort of just wrap up the whole project. I also can't help but feel like those vocal chants in this track also feel like that same eerie notes you hear from Squid Game. 
Narratively, it also wraps the whole thing up in stating that the someone you can count on was really just herself the whole time. It's not the most out there narrative through line. It's just a weird way to kind of wrap up the whole thing. It felt like there were times where there were some thematic elements that were trying to be interwoven between one another and all the songs, but it just kind of wasn't. And then the end was just like this minute and a half of just, oh, I'm the person you I can count on. It's me. I don't know. I kind of was listening to it and just like, oh, that was it. Overall, I think this EP has a lot going for it and a lot against it. Someone You Can Count On is backed by a dark tonality, all supported by an amalgamation of genres. There are sections and drops throughout this record that feel like whipped cream's finest, yet an overarching sense of incompleteness and a too much of a linear structure. In the end though, I found that there was a lot for me to personally latch onto and enjoy and found that I was able to appreciate the EP as a holistic endeavor. In the end, Whipped Cream's Someone You Can Count On EP is going to score a bow tied six out of 10. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this EP in the comment section below. I'd love to hear any and all thoughts right down there. Uh, other than that, you know, I've been Dakota from Bowtie Media and I will see you guys in another video.